Well, folks, if you're struggling to keep up with all the bad news out of Disney, so are we. It is a deluge of badness for Bob Iger and the rest of the crew over there. But good news, Kathleen Kennedy is getting ready to release a Ray movie, and she is expediting the process just like we told you before. Wait a minute, you say that's not good news after all? Well, funny you should say that because it seems like, according to our sources, that the Disney execs also feel the same way. They may be terrified of a Ray movie following the Marvel's failure because this could be a chance for Ray to finally destroy Star Wars. Hello folks, welcome back to another video of excellence here on the WDW Pro channel. Why is it excellent, you ask? Well, it's excellent because you're here with us. And joining us as well in another form of excellence is Force of Light, that form being those fantastic shades you have on. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Yes, yes, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Good to be here. That's right, let the festivities begin. And folks, the festivities are beginning right now as we dive into the latest out of the Ray movie. But before we do, we need to do a small little reminder that yes, we have known about what is now breaking out into the public knowledge. So let's go to the video, video clip where we actually brought this out and kept you ahead of the culture curve just a few weeks ago. Will Kathleen Kennedy push for anything? Well, allegedly, Kathleen Kennedy is pushing for something. And that is to get the show on the road. She allegedly is in a very big hurry to get this movie into full-on production. That includes trying to reserve locations very fast out of the strike, as well as getting everything uh, tucked away and done and put into place, contract signed, etc. They want to move fast. Still, I am told not to expect this film out until at the very earliest, late 2025, but almost assuredly 2026. And that means that even when this comes out, it will still have been basically a decade since Disney made money with Star Wars. All right, folks, and now let's take a look at what is happening in terms of the public uh, knowledge of this. This out of the productionlist.com, and uh, this is out of the Film and Television Industry Alliance, FTIA. This was released on uh, December 4th of 2023, so two days ago in terms of its latest update. But there's going to be some more information, so hang tight. Don't jump to a conclusion just yet. We're going to explain some things that need to be understood about this. But now, out of this uh, out of this production notification, we've got that the beginning production date for the Ray movie coming up out of Star Wars was supposed to be April 7th, 2024. And the location, just as anticipated, is London in the United Kingdom. Now, there are some suggestions out there that this is some sort of uh, shadow campaign for Kathleen Kennedy to hide what she's really doing with Star Wars. No, almost all Star Wars stuff has always been done at the United Kingdom. That's how we're able to get tax records to know how much these things cost is because the UK has different tax laws uh, instead of the United States. So this is all as anticipated. Everything is going as exactly as we've told you. Project Summary says the sequel follows the events of Rise of Skywalker and will focus on Rey as she builds a new Jedi Order. Uh, they've hidden, they've redacted the production company in the film studio, although we we know that. Ha ha. And, uh, of course, the cast and crew, we've got Charmino Bay Chinoy as the director. She She's just a pleasant, pleasant person. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy, same. And then this is what's got what had people up in arms saying, oh, this is not real, this is not real, is that it still lists Justin Britt Gibson and Damon Lindelof as the writers. Here to tell you folks that, yes, we're aware that uh, Stephen Knight is the writer of the new script, but uh, Justin Britt Gibson and Dave, Dave, uh, Damon Lindelof have to be credited Lest we go into arbitration, they have also contributed as writers, and so they're going to be listed on this. Now, it does not yet feature uh, the work of Stephen Knight, and his name is not yet on there, so we don't think this is fully up to date. And our friends over on Star Wars uh, News Net seem to agree with us. The rumor that production on the Daisy Ridley-led Star Wars film is set to begin in April 2024 is incorrect, according to a source we contacted. The script is reportedly not ready yet. And due to the delays caused by the strike, we don't expect filming to start before the summer. Now, here's the thing we're going to go to, Michelle. And that is that uh, some people have thought this is a very big deal. You know, oh my gosh, well, that means it's being pushed back to the summer. Oh, this is way different than what's listed there. It said it was going to begin production in April. Mm -hmm. It may be delayed to the summer. Summer, folks, begins in what month? June. So we're talking about two months difference. So this could be a, you know, 
bottom line here is, Michelle, here's what here, here's what's happening, and I want to get into rumor and speculation territory after this. But factually, we know this. There is a massive bottleneck of productions that need to happen because there was somewhere approximating a year of productions that didn't happen because of the strikes. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, you have a solid two years worth of content that needs to go through all of these production locations, right? Sound stages and production warehouses and all of that. They, they've got to go through these areas. That's a limited resource. And so that means that these locations are having to pick and choose who's going to get first dibs on them. According to what we've heard from our Hollywood insiders with significant credibility who have been right over and over again, um, that means that if you are getting a location assigned to you by the summer, you are moving extraordinarily quickly and you are being fast-tracked. And so what I would suggest, Michelle, is that this indeed confirms that if Ray is going to be shooting in the summer, then they've already got the, they've already got their uh, studios lined up for where they're going to shoot this, and they are moving very quickly to, get, to try to get the Ray movie into production. Now, all of that said, let's enter into speculation, and I want your thoughts on this. In the speculation territory, I have a source in and around Lucasfilm who says to me that the Disney folks, and folks, I, I can't corroborate this rumor in speculation territory, but says that the Disney executives are very worried about this because of the Marvels. And here's where that worry comes from. The Marvels is unlikely to break $100 million at the domestic box office. It is, it is it's an unbelievable flop. It's just unbelievable. Now, what did the audience say about Captain Marvel for years? They said, we didn't want to go see Captain Marvel. We went because you told us we had to, to see what was going to happen in our favorite movies. And then because it was not a good movie, now we dislike this character. And then the audience celebrated when Captain Marvel was not in other movies very much. And then when Disney finally said, no, 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 she's popular. Here's the movie. Go see it. Here's the sequel. Fans reacted poorly. Ray is on orders of magnitude higher than that because the way that Ray works is when the force awakens come, uh, came out, fans were told, you've got to see this to see all of your original characters that you love. And that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And then they were told you've got to go see the last Jedi. Cause you got to see actual master Luke training Ray. And then that didn't happen. <laughs> and then they were told you've got to go see the rise of Palpatine because you've got to see actually how this all plays out. We've got to see a super secret plan to make this all be worthwhile. Like, we're going to redeem all those characters. And then that didn't happen. That's three big movies that people were forced to go see where their favorite heroes were desecrated and where Ray was elevated. And I think that the Disney executives know this could actually be worse than the Marvels. Michelle, it took me way too long to get to you. But please, explain to me, do you think that's a valid concern from Disney? What do you think will be the box office results if they actually put Ray on the big screen? Yes, I think it is a very valid concern if you are working for Disney. Uh, just because, I mean, where Star Wars really is in general and just kind of the reception to the sequels. Uh, with that being said, all things are dependent upon what is the budget to make this movie. Could they make a Star Wars movie for $150 million? Um, I, I don't have any faith that Disney can, well, but... Okay. Um, let, let me give you something on that, Michelle, then. And, and very briefly, what my sources said, and again, I can't confirm this, is that Lucasfilm wanted 225 talking about million for the budget, production budget, and that Disney wants 170 I don't know where that's going to land, and okay. I don't know the veracity of it, but can it possibly make back either one of those, Michelle, if it goes into production? Okay, if they kept it down to 170 and all of this would be dependent upon when a trailer came out, does it really look appealing? Well, okay, for starters, I would say this. I feel that this is this has been fa fast-tracked way too quick to begin with because... We think we know why. Yes, but, but had you even wanted to do a Ray movie, I feel this conversation need to happen five years down the road. And there'd be like a 10-year gap and maybe then some of the the the, the fans maybe have a softer spot. I don't know, kind of like a, an Anakin situation with the prequels. Um, and it's probably not even going to be there, but it just would have given more time to go by. But with that being said, if they can keep it at 170, um, if you get a really dang good script that is interesting, 
then sure, Star Wars does have a big enough mass appeal uh, that if it really looked good in a trailer, maybe you could make a little bit of money off of a 170 budget. But uh, I don't think it's going to be some big thing, even at that. I, 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 what I'm saying well, let's, is, let's I talk think about break even scenario. It, it makes a little bit of money if you keep it at 170 and it's a really good script and good movie. So let's let's talk about break evens in that scenario. So if they made it for 170, and mm -hmm. let's Star Wars has never performed well in China. So we're gonna stick with a they've got to double the budget, okay? So if they make double the budget, they're then that's the break even. Okay. Now, so at 170 plus, let's say that they do we're gonna make the math really easy, folks. Let's say they do 130 for their uh marketing, okay? So we've got 170 plus 130, we're at 300. So then they would need $600 million global box office to break even. Could a Ray movie make $600 million? Yeah, that that that's uh that that that's is tough. Hill. That's a tough hill to climb. <laughs> That is tough. Um, I I, I kind of lean towards no at this point in time. Uh, we I think we both know. I, I think you guys report even they'll probably put who's behind me the uh, baby Yoda Grogu in it. I mean, well, okay. So Dave Filoni is now the guy in charge of everything creative. So yes. why would he not put some of his characters at least? I, mean, I think now the the original script had Grogu. Our understanding with Ray, but that script is mm -hmm. gone now. So okay. once Lindelof left, he still gets the credit, but this is now a uh, this is now a new writer who's come in who's taken it over. So Stephen Knight will be the guy who you know he he picks the characters, but Dave Filoni now is in complete control. And so that's that's something new. And so I have said, and I bet that Ahsoka would show up in the Ray movie. That would not surprise me at all if Ahsoka mm -hmm. shows up. But again, I don't know why you would. Yeah, that's not going to draw anybody to the box office either, based on what we saw mm -hmm. in the Disney Plus show, Michelle. Here's why I think they are moving so quickly, okay? So let me enter into my own speculation now. Um, the reason I think they're moving so quickly is that they want to get this movie out in 2025. I, I think 2024 is out of the question. Yeah. Clearly. 2025, though, they could get it very late. And even if they get delayed, they could still release it in 2026. When does Bob Iger switch out of the CEO chair again? Probably 2026. Hmm. How long does Kathleen Kennedy have? Well, even if she stays on past her current contract, you're still really, I mean, it, it takes a lot to believe that she would be there past 2026. I think the race is on because this is a vanity project to try to redeem the legacy mm -hmm. of the sequel trilogy and redeem what these individuals did to Star Wars. And they think that they can revive it. They think they can revivify Star Wars and Rey with this movie. And I think that that is a bunch of just absolute malarkey. I don't think this has a chance. I think. Everything in me says, and you know, a little track record here. Every everything in me says this is a horrible, horrible idea, and could damage Star Wars even more if this is the return to the box office after a six-year hiatus. Your thoughts? No, I totally agree with everything you said. Again, my my even just maybes it are totally built upon a, a an incredibly well-written script. And it looking very appealing to the mass audiences, which let's be real, the percent of that happening are not very high with the current state of Lucasfilm. Uh, so more than likely it won't be good, but I absolutely agree. I think it's a last ditch effort by Kathleen Kennedy. I'd almost say Kathleen Kennedy mainly. Uh, just yes. try, oh, let, let me get this out here before I leave and let me get a big win for the sequel trilogy. Uh, but that makes sense as well with Bob Iger. But yeah, I don't really see it going well. And it wouldn't be what I came out with if I was doing a, you know, back Star Wars back at the theater. I don't think it's the best idea. And again, I think it's just too early, too. One of one of the reasons, too, that I think that this budget could go way up, despite what apparently Disney wants. And, and you can't blame them for wanting to lower the budget because mm -hmm. they, they have not had a good time with well over a billion dollars in losses just this year alone in the box office, $500 million in box office losses just in the month of November and mm -hmm. could get worse. But uh, I, one of the reasons I think they'll, they'll blow up the budget is if you look at the, the ability to acquire these uh, locations for, for production, what happens when there is a huge demand and a limited supply? Yes. I actually I thought of that when you were saying that at the beginning that the, it and it doesn't surprise me that Kathleen Kennedy's going to get it because she's exactly. just has, she's just go spend the money. Uh, that's that's right. how they she's are. The, 
and she's got the cachet. Get out of the way of Kathleen Kennedy. She wants, she wants Pinewood. Get out of her way. That's mm -hmm. what, uh, that's what's happening here. But I got a feeling there are dollar, dollar, dollar signs associated with that. And I would not be spending it on a Ray movie. No. Uh, this, this, if we thought the Marvels was egg on the face of the mouse, this could make that look like just a molehill in comparison. This, this could be absolute tragedy for Star Wars, for Disney, et cetera. Michelle, uh, tell us where we can find you on this great, big, beautiful web with your wonderful Force of Light channel and your sister. Yes, uh, you can find uh, me and my sister at Force of Light Entertainment, uh, where we do reactions and reviews. Definitely go check us out over there. We're close to 25K. We're trying to get 25K subscribers before the 25th. Uh, so definitely go check us out at Force of Light Entertainment. Absolutely. Folks, you want to be subscribed to Force of Light? Definitely 100% go check them out. Click on the link down in the video description below. And while you're clicking things, why not the like button, the share, the subscribe? Send this out on your favorite social media platforms. And folks, remember that you are part of this discourse. Drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. So waste not yours. Drop a comment down below. We are attempting, ladies and gentlemen, to keep up with all the news that Disney is putting out there, whether they want to or not. We do three videos a day here on this channel. That Park Place covers five, at least, items every morning for the countdown. And we have live shows. And yet we cannot keep up with everything happening at Disney. Things have gone crazy. And we will have days and days, nay I say, perhaps weeks and months of coverage of this incredible audit that has exposed so much that we, even we, did not know about Disney. So hang tight, stay tuned, we will get to it, we promise. Including, very soon we'll be covering this issue of how the Walt Disney Company seems to have captured a local government in order to perhaps misuse and dilapidate a power plant and then use tax dollars for their own benefit. That is what is being alleged by an audit of professionals independently, and that is just the beginning of everything we have to talk about. So folks, stay tuned, and wherever you are, whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and keep... Make it money! <laughs>